Hi, I'm Brandon from Iron Edison Battery Company. In this video, we're going to talk about installing your inverter and power panel. This process can be pretty straightforward if you take the time to plan before turning your first screw. When in doubt, always read your owner's manual. The first step is to find the right location. This place should be well ventilated, easily accessible, and close to your battery bank. The inverter and power panel needs to be mounted on a non-combustible surface. Hanging directly on drywall or wall studs is not acceptable unless you use a backplate in between. We always recommend the backplate for the cleanest and easiest installation. The mounting holes on the backplate are spaced to accommodate wall studs that are 16 inches on center. If you have different wall stud spacing, you'll need to attach a sheet of plywood or APA rated sheathing on the wall. This is what we've done for our wall because our studs aren't exactly 16 inches on center. Next, we're ready to attach the power panel to the back plate. This is easiest to do with the back plate on a flat surface or table. Here, we are using a larger back plate designed for adding a second inverter at a later time. We also want to remove the front cover of the power panel and appropriate conduit knockouts. This is a lot easier to do if the enclosure is sitting on a bench rather than trying to remove the knockouts with the enclosure on the wall. On the inverter, you'll want to connect the included AC wires to the input and output terminals. Again, this is a lot easier to do before the inverter is mounted on the wall. Prior to mounting the entire assembly onto the wall, we're going to want to disconnect the power panel enclosure from the backplate. We'll mount the backplate directly onto the wall, make sure that it's level and firmly attached. Once this is done, then we will mount the power panel back onto the backplate prior to mounting the inverter on top of the power panel. Now that the power panel is mounted onto the back plate, we can attach the inverter onto the top of the power panel. The inverter is very heavy, so make sure to work with a team as you lift the inverter into place. Attach the inverter to the back plate and route the wires into the power panel. Attach the wires from the inverter to the appropriate bus bars in the power panel and tighten all the screws on the bus, board, bus bar to the proper torque specification. Complete the wiring of AC and DC circuits, as well as communication cables, and closely follow all of the instructions printed in the owner's manual. Finally, you'll want to remove the neutral to ground wire inside the power panel. This connection should already be made inside your main AC breaker box. There should only be one neutral to ground connection in the entire system. Perform a final installation checklist and functional test. And finally, attach the front covers to the power panel. With the functional test complete, we can now turn on the inverter's main DC disconnect and watch the inverter power up. At this point, we can start programming the inverter. I'm Brandon with Iron Edison Battery. Thanks for watching our video on inverter location and installation. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or check out our website at ironedison.com. Thanks again.